New reaction tonight on the court-ordered return of the Remain in Mexico asylum program. We've heard criticism from activists, the support of lawmakers on behalf of Border Patrol agents. But as Channel 5's Santiago Caicedo discovered, not all federal agents agree. He has our continuing coverage. Soon, migrants looking for asylum in the U.S. coming in from Matamoros will be interviewed by an asylum officer. I think a lot of people don't even know that we exist. And they could find themselves being interviewed by Michael Knowles. Although these meetings are mostly virtual, Knowles and hundreds of other officers will be interviewing immigrants asking for asylum. But he says the Remain in Mexico policy defeats the purpose of the migrants asking for asylum in the first place, especially when many claim to be fleeing violence. We feel that we've been made complicit in a human rights violation. Through a recent press release, the American Federation of Government Employees wrote that U.S. law and international treaty obligations give migrants the option to ask for asylum in the U.S. and therefore stay in the U.S. in the meantime, not be expelled and told to wait in Mexico. Many migrants then become targets of extortion and organized crime. Some humanitarian organizations share the same concern. I think there's a false narrative that people have this American dream and are just looking for a better life when indeed they are fleeing for their lives. The Federal Employee Workers Union can't go on strike and they'll have to continue to follow court order to continue with MPP. And we still don't know exactly when MPP will be implemented in Brownsville or Laredo, but what we do know is that organizations up and down the border are getting ready to receive more migrants. In downtown McAllen, Santiago Caicedo, Channel 5 News.